Oh, hi, I'm Steph. I'm one of the early childhood experts here at Bobico. And today I'm gonna show you how to do a really fun, earth-friendly activity using things you might have already around your house. We're going to make recycled wrapping paper using old newspapers and bubble wrap. The materials you need are newspaper, bubble wrap, scissors, paper if you want to make templates to stamp over, paint brushes of any sort, and then we're using temper paint. So the first thing you want to do is prepare your work surface. So I put down a plastic sheet to protect the table from the paint because this can get kind of messy. And then you want to prepare your bubble wrap because it usually comes in some pretty big sheets. So cut it into manageable size pieces for your child, like rectangles or squares is fine. Um, or if you want to get creative, you can make some shapes out of the bubble wrap for printing with that. Something a little different you could do is take paper and cut it into shapes. And that way when you print with the bubble wrap, it's creating like a negative print on the paper. So the next thing you're going to do is just put out your newspaper that you want painted and then prepare your paint. We're using non-toxic tempera paint. And I really like to designate an old muffin tin in the kitchen to be the art paint template. And you can use that when you do art projects. You can use as many colors as you like, but with young kids, what's really fun too is just to pick two primary colors, like say red and yellow, so that kids can practice color mixing too. I'm going to paint one of these pre-cut shapes that we made out of bubble wrap and make sure you paint the whole thing because the cool thing about this craft is seeing the texture of the bubbles when it makes the print and then you just press it right on your paper and voila check out the cool texture that makes so there you have it your very own homemade recycled wrapping paper no more running out to the store to buy wrapping paper at the last minute for some kid's birthday party and the cool thing is you can use this over and over again. And do I need to mention how fun it is to pop this stuff? Good fine motor practice too. Until next time, I'm gonna be popping this.